Hi, my name is Brad Pinkerton. I'm the CCAN rep for Manitoba, and I'm out here in Stonewall, Manitoba, it's September the 6th, 2016, and I want to walk you through these plots. First thing I want to talk about, though, is that last week in Beaujolais, Kristen Podolsky, who's the agronomist with the Manitoba Pulse Growers, was telling us that in some of the mature soybean growing areas like the U.S., some of the biggest threats to yield are cyst nematode, and Phytophthora, followed by various different seedling diseases. So we need to keep that in mind, and Kristen was suggesting and encouraging farmers to try some products that have some resistance to these diseases, and uh, kind of start working those into your rotation over the next number of years to see how it does. So the first product I want to talk about is Barker R2X. Barker is brand new for us, it's an extend soybean, so resistant to dicamba. It has the 1K resistance gene for Phytophthora. It also has the cyst nematode resistance gene. It's um, looking like it's, it's pretty good for iron chlorosis. The testimonials from our seed growers were that it didn't yellow off when other products right beside were yellowing off this spring. Yield is supposed to be very good. We're waiting to, to see how these trials do as long as well as our seed grower uh, testimonials for yield. So Barker R2X, 2425 heat unit bean. Next new product is called Baron R2X. This is also an extend product, so again resistant to dicamba. This is a 2250 heat unit bean, so you can see it's really maturing up nicely here. This product will push the limits into northern Manitoba and western Manitoba and also into Saskatchewan. It's coming in about a day and a quarter earlier than 2310. So we're eager to see how this yields up in, uh, in the west and in the north. Next product here is Chadburn. Chadburn's a 2475 heat unit bean. It's good, been a very good stable product for Secan. It yields very consistently, stands very well, kind of a medium height and uh, has some very loyal farmers that really like growing it. Bishop R2 is a 2325 heat unit bean, so quite early. Uh, Arberg has seen uh, very good success with this product. It's done very well up there. The claim to fame on Bishop is that it stands really nice and tall and it also has very good bottom pod height. So it makes it a lot easier for some farmers, some, er, some farmers that are new to growing soybeans, it makes it a little easier for them for harvesting. McLeod R2 is a 2375 heat unit bean. We've had this out for a number of years. It always stands absolutely beautiful. It uh, looks great, kind of a medium tall height, I would, I would call it. And uh, matures up very nicely, has very big kernels, very big seeds. Great pod height as well. It's tolerant to iron chlorosis, so a very nice defensive bean. It doesn't go yellow very often in the spring. Always looks showy. Curry R2 is our full season 2500 heat unit bean. It's semi tolerant to iron chlorosis. Big bushy plant. Big yielder. Does very well that Altona Winkler area. It's got some very good results down that way in some uh, strip trials, yield trials. A lot of farmers like it down there. Mahoney R2 came out last year with Secan. It's a 2350 heat unit bean. Matures in around McLeod, sometimes a little bit later, sometimes a little bit earlier than McLeod. You can see this plot here is maturing up very well, very quickly. Mahoney is a bushy plant. It is susceptible to iron chlorosis, so it does go yellow. But all of our experience last couple of years has been that it, even though it goes yellow, it still out yields the products that are more defensive growing right there beside it. So yeah, it goes yellow, but still, by the time you come in there with a the combine, farmers always seem to be happy. Gray R2 has had huge success in the Carmen and Portage area. It's kind of a medium bushy plant, medium tall, stands very nice. It's a little bit later than these other products, as you can see. It's a 2450 heat unit bean. But those, uh, those farmers in that Carmen area have been doing very well on, uh, on yield with, with gray. It is tolerant to iron chlorosis as well. 
and uh, I would encourage you to check that one out. Our last bean here is Hero R2. This is a 2375 heat unit bean as well. It usually matures in a little bit later than that. It's been doing very well in western Manitoba. Big yields out there. It pushes the limit a little bit on maturity in some areas. And that seems to be where that extra yield is coming from. Lots of pods here. Hero is semi-tolerant to iron chlorosis. And it's a nice, big, tall, bushy plant. Thanks for taking the time to see my, uh, my plots here in Stonewall, Manitoba. Have a great day.